For some, it's art. For others, something a little more disturbing. But whatever the case, people have plenty to say about body worlds. It reveals how our bodies work, sometimes in macabre detail. And there's a twist to this exhibition. All the bodies are real. They've been treated by a process called plastination. More than 15,000 people have donated their bodies for the process. So wherever this exhibition goes, controversy follows. More than 40 million people globally have viewed it. It's an exhibition that is very triggering. It's something that's quite evocative because it's new, it's different, and it's touching on things that for, for different people have a lot of different feelings. So it might have some religious feelings, it might trigger some feelings around disease and death. And the minute something touches anything emotional, people have very powerful responses to it. Body Worlds argue this is an exhibition that's educational, not meant to cause discomfort. What it really brings to the people is a knowledge, the understanding of their inner self. I really want to emotionally engage our visitors. They need to come to their own experience that they have a treasure inside themselves that is worth caring for. We learned about how, the, how everything works and how like the brain and how all these diseases can get inside of you and like and cause and that's why you mustn't smoke and do all and do eat bad food we were made like this that god created us with all this muscle and everything working like our blood cells and our lungs and everything you can learn more stuff about your body and how it works and you can teach others and if you want if you change your mind you can be a doctor some people will be very distressed by some of the things here but personally, I think it's just very interesting to know what's happening inside your body, realize the intricacies of what's happening there. Groundbreaking research or money-making venture, works of art or morbid fascination. This is an exhibition that certainly won't leave anyone indifferent. And the experience is available until the 19th of June. Julie Shara, CCTV in Johannesburg, South Africa.